In the meshing step, we don't affect the mathematical model, but we give the solver some key information about how to implement the numerical solution to that mathematical model. Let's take a look at what that information is that we're giving the solver. If I highlight mesh in the tree and go to statistics, okay, first I see that there are 32 elements. Uh, I said, you know, four elements along here and eight elements along there, so four times eight is 32, so that's no surprise. And there are 121 nodes. That is, the, the solver um, now knows that it needs to calculate the temperature values at 121 locations. So we've given it the selected locations at which to calculate the, the temperature. And we can see what those locations are. Let me zoom in here using the, the right mouse button. And let me translate it. And I'll go here and I'll say select mesh. And then if I, um, and make sure that the vertex, um, so I can select elements, which will select this, or I can select the nodes um, using this option. And then I will just drag it over these locations, okay? So I, the corners and the mid sites. So you see that it's, you know, it's going to calculate the temperature at the corners, but it's also going to calculate the temperature at the mid-sides. This means that when it writes interpolation in this direction, it can use a second order interpolation. When it, use, when it writes interpolation in this direction, it can use a second order interpolation. So if we have um, second order interpolation in two directions and so it's going to use the second order interpolation and we can confirm that you know when we go to when we actually get the solution and see what element type it's used it and um, and we also you know can we also given it information about how what's called connectivity for instance when it writes the um, the algebraic equation for that node which nodal temperature values will be involved. So that algebraic equation will connect that node to all the nodes that are connected to the elements attached to that node, as we saw. So let me mark those out. So when it writes the algebraic equation at that node, it's going to involve, you know, you look at all the elements that are attached to that node and then you look at all the nodes that are attached to each of those elements. So all these nodes, all these nodal temperatures will be involved in that algebraic equation. Similarly, these nodal temperatures and so on. So when, and you know, there are, there are ones down here that you can't really see. Um, so there are a lot of temperature values that will be involved when it writes the algebraic equation at any particular nodes. So as you can imagine, there is a lot of bookkeeping, uh, which we are glad that the answer solver is going to uh, take care of for us. Let's move on to completing the definition of the, you know, the setup of the mathematical model, and then we'll get the solver to solve it.